Okay, it's another week. I'm going to make a start on doing some multi-page experimentation. Let's see, what do I need? I need a document with a rectangle. For some reason, I need the documents to be... the document properties to be docked. And I'll need about 12 rectangular grids. I don't know why, just have a feeling that I might need lots of grids for this. And then... Uh, Oh, dear, it appears to have become slow. Bugger. Hello everybody and welcome to another update video. My name is Martin. I'm an Inkscape programmer, um, developing Inkscape fixes and fe features uh, according to y user wishes. Uh, you join me in lovely Vermont, where I'm doing an update about my uh, week's work. And this week I wanted to go over some of the, um, the speed issues, which you probably saw in the opening. So, uh, first thing to note is that the, uh, the signals in Inkscape, <clears throat> this is where different parts of Inkscape tell other different parts of Inkscape that stuff is happening uh, have always been a kind of issue and so uh, it just came to a head because the grids problem is particularly pronounced and it just makes it look ridiculous but first I want to actually uh, thank all of my Patreon supporters and all of the people that continue to support my work thank you so much uh, it makes it easier to work on Inkscape and um, hopefully I'm fixing the problems that you see when you use Inks Inkscape. So uh, let's work, walk through the, 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 the signals issue. Um, this here is a um, profile, right? It's a, it's a way of describing what in the Inkscape process is running as you are performing actions. It's a way of running Inkscape where you can get information about how long things are going are gonna to take. Each brick in the diagram represents a, a step or a call. And each of the chains of bricks are basically called stacks where, um, you know, this thing calls this thing, calls this thing, calls this thing, etc. And you can find out where the program is spending the majority of its time by doing this kind of profile filing and then finding out where it's getting stuck. You can see here, this pro profile is of me creating lots of grids and then trying to move an object around on the ca canvas, which, you know, it only created like maybe 45 um, moves because it was so slow. Um, you can see on the uh, left hand side is a call stack. That's actually the, the rendering stack. That's it rendering things to the screen, uh, rectangles, that sort of thing. Uh, the middle part is actually it creating palettes. I don't know why those are so expensive. And the right hand side is our um, problematic dialogue code. This is where our uh, issues go, so we'll zoom in on that. And um, we start off with the, this a simple up, uh, emit more modified, which is basically saying, you know, something that is selected has been modified by, by the code. And we, we work through the stack and it's basically just looping over each of the items that you have selected and saying hey something's happened and then it goes to the the sp desktop which has for some reason the most generic sig signal you've ever did find i've colored it red here and then that goes to to the window on s s selection changed which is also very generic i mean what changed how did it change why did it change do, do i need to do anything about this change none of that is available it's just very generic s signal uh, this goes to up, up, update the, the dialogue, so it loops through each, each of the, the dialogues. That's what those big horizontal ones are um, that are colored in green here. Uh, and then we have an, uh, an update for, for, for the dialogue properties itself. So you can see it's spending the majority of its time updating the list dialogue properties. And then it updates the widgets inside of that. And then it updates the grids page. And you can see, I think you can see, like, it's spent... A long time updating that grids page and you can see like new widget is predominantly what it's doing and you can see here between each of the bricks is a uh, a label that says how long what percentage of the time it spent and how many calls 
So you can see here 9% and 270 odd calls uh, that went from this thing to, from update grid page to new widget, uh, which is a lot. So it's creating a lot of wid widgets a lot of times. This actually incidentally caused, causes Inkscape to crash on win Windows um, because it uh, doesn't clean up after itself efficiently and so it leaves some dangling things around which are, win makes Windows very un un unhappy. So the question is what to do with the data, like we know what the problem is. And what I decided to do was to take out this part, the on selection mod modified, and um, stop this generic chain of events that basically means that every time you modify some something on, on the canvas uh, that every single dialogue gets updated and it gets updated in the most generic way so you you know that it's not they're not being careful about what they're updating they're just blanketly updating everything and so the problem with that is is that it's it's dangerous because not all pro programmers in Inkscape Pro project understand all of the code and so we're not sure whether all of these dialogues even need to be updated or modified. Um, and the only way to know for sure is to take it away. And then if something, if a user comes to us and says, hey, this like really obscure feature doesn't work anymore, then chances are you, you broke it. And that's what that, uh, that signal was do do doing. Um, but until we have that information, we can't design a fix that will um, you know, more appropriately deal with that scenario rather than a blanket signal because the blanket signal is really, really expensive. So you shouldn't be doing that anyway, but it happens, right? Um, so that's that's the plan. I've created a branch. Thank you all, of, uh, everybody who responded to my uh, call out for testing. Uh, and it was a good video. I enjoyed putting it up. And um, you know, I've gotten some great feed, 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 feedback, a bunch of cra crashes and things. But going for forwards, uh, have a look at the di di dialogues. That the, I'm hopefully going to get this code merged in, but it's likely going to cause some weirdness. Uh, and we just don't know what it is. So be prepared to report it if you can. Um, and thank you for watching. I know it's not the exciting uh, experimentations in uh, multi-page support that I was hoping to be able to do, but. I think speed improvements for Inkscape are important and hopefully this will improve our Mac and Win Windows usability because I know that that's where uh, widget cre creation is really harsh. So um, thank you. Let, let me know what you think, uh, whether you think I should continue doing speed improvements for Inkscape. And I will see you hopefully all next week.